Hi, this is Gaganbeep from Maker's Box. One of the things that we usually hear is 3D printers can be used to only print for fun or something. One of the most useful tools that we've printed in the last few days here at Maker's Box is this resistance bending tool. Now, you'd say, why do we really need this, you know? I am a bit of a junkie for cleanly bent resistances, especially when I'm going to use it on a breadboard or a PCB. And let me show you what happens when you bend resistances with hand, right? Uh, this is something that it looks like. So I can obviously take a resistance, bend it, and it becomes all teda vida and it's really not the most efficient way of bending a resistor. This tool is printed in metric format. It has caps at every 2 mm. So depending on the holes that you'll be using either on your PCB or on your breadboard, you can use this to bend the resistor. So let me show you from par of what we do. So you put in a resistor in the middle of it in one of these slots depending on the distance that you want and you bend the leads from left and right and now you're left with this cleanly bent lead and you can use this on your breadboard or you can use it on a curved PCB or something like that and you have a cleanly bent resistor. While I'm talking about resistances, I must also show you this resistance box that we have at Baker's Box. This comes with 18 different values, 20 resistors each of a quarter watt, 5% uh, tolerance. So if you're ever building a project at middle of the night and you run out of a resistance, this is a great, great, great tool. We sell this on Amazon right now. Uh, there's also a link on the Baker's Box website. So if you're looking for a resistance box, this is a great buy at just 399 rupees. Inside this box, not only do you get these 360 resistors of different values, you also get this chart, which is handy, which I keep in my wallet all the time. So, you know, when you mix up what color means what, you can read the resistance from here. And as a special offer, we're also including this 3D printed tool. In case you don't want to buy the box, we've given the links for how to print this 3D printed tool, download the STL files from Thingiverse. You also have a download to the PDF for this resistor chart, which you can print on your own and you can buy the resistances. I hope you'll find good use of this and build cleaner circuits.